Hi, I'm Beth, welcome back to my channel. We talk about all things crafting and fiber arts. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about the Northeast Wool Show. It was this last weekend, I went on the Sunday, and I thought I would show you what I got. So, I went to the Wool Show with a, a list, a very short list, and it wasn't a like hard and fast list it was kind of a like oh if I seize it, these things then this will be nice I knew I didn't want to go and buy loads of yarn because I already have a fairly decent amount of yarn I'm a slow knitter so this is gonna take me forever to knit <laughs> um, so I knew I didn't want to buy loads but I did make a list of some projects that I wanted to do that I've been wanting to do for quite a while and how much yarn I would need for each of those and I thought if I can get the yarn for one of those then that would be good one of those things was I wanted the yarn for a summer top and I wanted it to be green <laughs> um, I guess I would say I self-identify as a goth so I don't tend to wear colors I tend to wear black that's just my happy place that's what I'm used to that's what I've worn for a long time um, but I thought it'd be fun to expand a little I thought maybe what if what if instead of hear me out what if instead of all black we go mostly black with one garment or accessory that has colour on it. Now I've been doing this for a long time with red, with black and red. That's my safe space. I know what I'm doing there. That's grand. I'm happy with that. I love that. Uh, I've recently been branching out into purple a little bit, although to be honest I haven't actually finished any purple garments. I have been knitting some purple things and knitting purple socks. In my opinion, socks don't count. When I say all black outfit, I'm not counting socks. Socks, I think, if there's no there's no point. <laughs> What's the point in having fun with fashion? How can you have fun with fashion if you can't just do whatever the hell you want with socks? Just have some fun colourful socks. Anyway, that's off topic. Um, so I thought I would quite like to branch out and try wearing some deep like forest green. Um, so I'm a little bit scared. But anyway, I, I was successful in my mission to acquire some well it's deep ish it's not quite as deep as i wanted maybe but the thing is that i wanted it to be a summer a summer top and i didn't want it to be wool so here's what i got it is let's see it is cotton and tensile sock yarn it is four ply it's from flora fibers um and it's got some elastic in there as well so it's kind of stretchy which to be honest I didn't really need I was quite happy f to get a drapey yarn but we were looking at colour <laughs> I was looking at colour so this was the closest to what I had in mind that I could find that was the right you know that wasn't wool basically I didn't want it to be wool because yeah I didn't want it to be too warm for a summer top so what I'm going to be knitting with this is the plant lady top by Amanita Knits I will put a picture of that somewhere on the screen um yeah I've already taken the I undid this skein to have a proper look at it so that's why the the label isn't on it anymore but yeah I'm very happy with that and the reason that I'm filming this so close to you know I could have waited a few days to film this after the festival but I want to knit this and I but I also wanted to show you guys this before I you know started knitting with it so yeah plans probably for tonight <laughs> are to start boiling this up and cast on so that's fun that wasn't the first thing I bought though we did a I went with two friends and we did one round where we attempted not to buy anything that was the intention um we didn't stick to that because I saw well one friend saw some nice beads that she liked the look of and I saw mm -mm. Oh no, it's stuck. Oh, we're snagging on things. Oh no. Oh no. Why did I think putting this in a wicker basket was a good idea? I saw... Oops, I'm dropping things! There we go. I saw... This lot. <laughs> These are, are, I believe, Wensleydale fibres? That's not... Nope, that's just from my craft basket. That's some leftover bits of spinning wool. Um, let me double check where I got this from. 
yeah, Wensleydale Longwall is the name of the stall I got this from. And there was just this big basket <laughs> full of colourful locks from Wensleydale, a Wensleydale sheep. And they were gorgeous. And me and my friend and some other ladies just all gathered around this basket and just went, ooh. Someone said, is this the ooh ah basket then? Because <laughs> we're all just going, ooh, ooh, look at this, look at that. <laughs> and they were, I think, 10p per gram. So, um, yeah, this was, I think she said 760 grams. Is that right? No. 76 grams. There we go. I was going to say this doesn't feel like nearly a kilogram. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to use this for some kind of fibre art. Probably either I might try some weaving with it or some needle felting. Well, I've, I've already tried needle felting, but you know, I will maybe do some needle felting with it or I'll maybe try doing some weaving with it or maybe a combination of the two. Um, yeah, that was part of why I got so enthusiastic and just bought this immediately rather than coming back later after having looked at everything else was because me and my friend were just like, I'd mentioned to her that, you know, I want to try, I want to try weaving and I want to do more needle felt art and things like that. Um, and so we were just like bouncing ideas off each other like, oh, you could do this, oh, you could do that, oh, you could do this. And we, we got very excited. <laughs> we got so overexcited. So yeah, that's that. That's great i'm so excited about that i just keep looking at it i just kept opening my little pug and looking at it and going mm, pretty <laughs> and this is partially why i want to branch out from wearing all black because if i want to knit things for myself which i do then i don't want to just knit black all the time i yeah i like black i like wearing black but i don't want to just knit black <laughs> anyway okay what do i want to talk about next oh this i missed some <laughs> Okay, next. Um, so this is a stall that I I saw last year at the Northeast Wall Show, and I didn't buy anything then, but I I admired greatly. My eyes sparkled, um, and I took a note of the stall name, and I looked them up online afterwards, and um, actually for Christmas got a felting kit from them, which. You're gonna see a video on it won't be the coming video but it'll be the video after maybe or maybe the one after that anyway um but uh, so this is from little gem felts it is a notebook and the cover is felted with a little bit of embroidery on it and um you can go check out i, I would say go check out their instagram but honestly Half the things she was telling me, I had, I was chatting to her because I, I went back for this at the very end of the show. I don't know where the day went. The day went so fast. One minute we were like, like just getting there and the next minute it's closing and you've got to run around and get the things you wanted <laughs> because everyone's leaving. Um, so I went back to get this. I didn't know specifically I wanted this one. I was like, there are so many beautiful ones. I want one of them. <laughs> I don't know which. Um, so anyway, I ended up having a chat with her and... Um, Apparently, quite a lot of things sell at at uh, wool shows like this one before her husband can photograph them and put them on the website or on the on the Instagram. So you can go look look at their Instagram, but it sounds like their Instagram won't necessarily have all the amazing, beautiful things that she makes. She makes so many ama amazing, beautiful things, and I guess it shows that people clearly like them enough to buy them before they they have time to put them on the Instagram. So yeah, I highly recommend. They do do kits as well um, and lots of other things like they do lots of bags, they do like little um, pin pin cushions and things um, and lamps, they do some lamps. Yeah, lots of things. Highly recommend. Check them out. That's little, little, little gem felt. And next. Here's another thing I went back for. This is from, let me check, Kate's Cloths. And it is a, uh, it's like an embroidery kit, but I would say it's maybe more of a, it's also a bit of a 
fabric collage kit so you get you know all these little scraps of fibers and some threads and it's got very in detail instructions um the guy on the stall showed me some of the instructions they it's like step by step tells you exactly what to do to make this pretty picture of this place in the lake district crummock water i'm not hugely familiar with the lake district i have been but i'm not like someone who knows all of the lakes and all of the hills so yeah, that's really pretty um there were several of these and i <laughs> did not know which one i wanted and i just crouched in front of them and was like i know i want one of these three which one do i want <laughs> Yeah, very pretty. Very excited about that. This, la this lady also does workshops in uh, near Morpeth in Northumberland. Um, so if you're around my neck of the woods in the northeast, then local to you. Yeah, I'm excited to do this. <laughs> Next. Actually, no. Wait, I'll leave that to the last. Next thing, I actually left this over here. Whoops. Um, next, one thing that I saw a few times was, oops, ah. here's me going, I'll do a nice clean take, I'll just, you know, I think I can restrain myself to only say the things that I need to say, and not rabbit on about all sorts, keep it short, keep it sweet, and then I won't have to edit too much, and then I can get this out quickly, <laughs> no, lol, um, anyway, so one thing that I thought was really cool was we, we saw multiple stalls that whose whole kind of ethos. Now bear in mind we didn't talk to everyone, so it might not have been only three stalls, it might have been more. Um, there were at least three stalls whose whole kind of ethos was about using up scraps or using up everything, like bits of walls that were left over from the weaving process, or one lady was all about using all of the bits of the sheep so she was making um rugs in fact what was the name of her no i don't think that was her i think she said so they had some cancellations last minute and she did say to us that someone else had been booked in her slot and only a few days prior had she been contacted and so she'd only had a few days notice to get there so that's not her name that's printed in the booklet <laughs> Um, I'll have to look that up online and I'll maybe put it on the screen or something because I, I forgot to take a card um, or take note of what her business was called or anything um, but um, yeah she made uh, rugs wool rugs from she raises sheep so she has sheep um, rare sheep um, and she makes rugs using a peg loom and the bits that are left over from that um, she sells as little she had little like gift bags um, of lease that she was selling and she also makes like cushions and things like that um, so that was really cool she was really interesting to talk to um, and there's one stall that we went to oh who would that have been <laughs> creation mill cic not sure what cic means anyway so yeah she had all sorts of things including um fabrics that had like been i don't know if they were dead stock or if they were second hand or something like that uh, my friend got some fabric looks very nice um, and I got they were selling these for a pound each for a pound um, these old sam fabric samples sample books from I guess tailors and of course I couldn't resist it's black <laughs> It's so funny, I was saying to my friends that I want to branch out from, you know, just wearing black and yet what did I beeline to at every single stall? I was like, ooh, look at that black, look at that black. <laughs> or often when like it's slightly multicolored, like it's slightly variegated, but it's got lots of black and it's got a bit of color in. I'm like, oh, love that. Love that. So yeah, um, I got these partly because they were just a pound. Um, but uh, what I want to do with these is have a go at some, like, fabric collage um, kind of thing. Um, and I thought, you know, two pounds for two books full of, like, random samples of all sorts of fabric. Great. That's a great starting point. I mean, 
the fabric collages will be very black but that's fine i can do some night skies and some silhouetted hills and things like that i think that sounds really cool yeah so i'm excited about that and it'll be a good background to do some like maybe some embroidery maybe some needle felting something like that okay last purchase um again i'm gonna need to check the book for who this was <laughs> Do, 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 do. This was from the Lace Knittery and this is, as you can see, some, I think, roving? Spinning fibre, basically. Um, and it's so pretty. Have a look. Have a look. Um, and the reason I ended up getting this, I probably wouldn't have got it otherwise, was because we ended up chatting to a lady from... I'm going to need to check the name. We got chatting to this lady from uh, Lazy Kate Textiles and um they i think sell weaving and spinning equipment and do workshops on weaving and spinning and she had a, a loom there like a, a, a demo loom so you could have a little go um and she was sitting there spinning and she was spinning this because she was sitting right across the way from the stall <laughs> um and she'd seen this and she'd gone yes please and um so we st stood and chatted to her about spinning and things and the rabbit hole um, chasm of fibre arts. You know, you start off knitting just, oh, you know, I'll just start knitting just for fun, lol. You know, for shits and giggles. And then next thing you know, you're like, I want to rear sheep, I want to hand dye yarn, I want to card and spin the yarn, I want to crochet, I want to weave, I want to needle felt, all these things. Anyway, yeah, so she was spinning one of these up. It's merino, I believe, 100% merino, I think. Um, and it just looked gorgeous, spun up, and I was watching her as we were talking, and she was spinning, and I was like, that looks so nice. I have some honourable mentions. There were a lot of stalls that just were amazing. It was just an overload of inspiration. There was so much colour, so much enthusiasm. Everyone was so nice. Um, what else did we see that I want to mention? Um, Emily Cross Ceramics. She was there that last year with her husband. Or I don't actually, I don't know. I didn't actually talk to Emily Cross. I just talked to the husband, who, by the way, is an excellent salesman and clearly incredibly enthusiastic about everything, all everything his wife makes. Um, and last year, uh, he actually remembered me. Uh, last year, he sold me a, one of her yarn bowls. She makes many yarn bowls, including you have to look at this these giant yarn bowls with dragons on and they're amazing and I want one but they're like 300 pounds um anyway um last year he sold me a yarn bowl he attempted to sell me another yarn bowl this year and I was very tempted I was so tempted they were so nice they were black <laughs> all various colors of darkish with black mixed in they were beautiful um and she does all sorts of nice patterns and I highly recommend you check her out um, just wanted to give her an honourable mention because it wasn't in the budget this year for me to get in a yarn bowl. I didn't need another yarn bowl. I already have one <laughs> from her and it's very nice and I recommend it. I've been using it for a year now. <laughs> um, any other honourable mentions? Um, yarn tings. Um, oh, such beautiful colours and the lady was very friendly, absolutely lovely. Who else do I want to mention? I think upstairs there was somebody... Oh, Felt Wildly, yes. Um, we had a lovely chat to her and she was doing these great little demonstrations for people who'd never done needle felting before. Um, so one of my friends who hadn't done needle felting had a little go and me and my other friend were like, we've done it, we, <laughs> you know, you didn't need to let us do that. But we had a lovely conversation and I asked her about the difference between needle felting. She was selling these um, wool pads for needle felting on so i asked her about the difference between using those versus using foam versus using a brush um because i've tried a, a small variety of these and i'm like why do people choose one over the other what's the difference um and basically she said personal preference but it was a really lovely chat she was so friendly um yeah as i said we couldn't talk to everyone we were there for one day and it felt like it went so fast <laughs> And we were so tired by the end of it and my wallet definitely did not want me to stay for longer and buy more things because i was i was this close to buying 
200 grams of silk yarn and this close to buying a fleece, which I don't know when I would have time to process a fleece and spin it on a drop spindle. Um, yeah, so many beautiful yarns I'd have loved to buy. <laughs> but again, I don't, I already have enough yarn to knit with. <laughs> I don't need more right now. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, that, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe check out my other videos if you feel like it. Subscribe if you're not already. Um, leave a comment if you were also at the Northeast World Festival. How did you find it? Did you get anything cool? Yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Keep crafting.